simulate our dice roll, we're going to need some random numbers. And to generate those random numbers, we're going to need help from a specific object that has this ability. The first thing we're going to do is create a variable that can hold this object. The Java component that has this ability is of type random. So our variable also needs to be of type random. We're going to call our variable random number generator. Similar to creating that listener, we're going to create the random object using the new keyword followed by the name of what we want to create. Great, so now we've stored our random object inside a variable called random number generator. And we can use that to create random numbers. Let's do that now. We'll save it to another variable called number. And that will be an integer. So it'll be type int. Call it number. And now we'll use the random number generator to generate the value. Similar to how we set an onclick listener on the roll button, we're going to access the random number generating facility through the dot notation. So select next int, which generates an integer, and provide an upper bound. So we want to generate a number between 0 and 5. So we'll say next int 6, and then semicolon at the end. And this line will store a random number between 0 and 5 inside our variable called number. Let's print that to the log cat and make sure it works. Let's add another log statement. Log D, dicey. And now we'll print out the value that's stored inside our variable called number. We have our text, the random number is, then a plus, and then the name of the variable to combine the two into one long piece of text. Now hit the run app button again. In our emulator, we just saw a little toast message apply changes and restart his activity. That means that the app that's showing is running the latest version of the code that we wrote. So what happens now when we press the roll button? I'm going to clear the lock hat by pressing on this rubbish bin symbol. And now I'm going to hit that button. Okay, just like last time, we'll see the button has been pressed. Then we create a random number generator. We make it generate a random number. And down here, we're printing out what that number is. And down here I see the random number is 2. If I press that button again, I should see two more messages. And again, with the random number is 2. That doesn't seem very random. Let's try again. Hmm. Random number is 2. Hmm. 2. Okay, four times. Okay, here we go. 0, 2, 0, 2, 5, 4, 0. Okay. Okay, it looks, it looks like it's random after all. While printing the random numbers to the lock cat is great, we're not updating our dice faces yet. I'll show you how to do that in the next video.